and then I put a pumpkin on it for now. It's fall, y'all. like a loop thing for like you can do this sit it's a foam wreath that we got at the dollar store it's not foam it is foam it's hard it's hard foam so um we were challenged to make a decorative area of our house spending only 15 dollars um so we have some ideas we're going to make this wreath to kind of hang over the mantle and we have a few other pieces that we'll show you as we go, but first we're gonna start with this. So we thought we could wrap the wreath with this pretty fall ribbon, right? That's the plan. And then put some of this on. And glue those on it, yep. So we are... At our craft area. Yeah, this is our craft area. You guys might see this more often. We enjoy. make slime a lot, that's why it's so messy. Yeah. And we enjoy doing crafts, but it's not really something we do a lot in the summer, right? Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, glue gun going, and we will get this project moving. All right, so let's take a look at how this is going to look here. So our plan is to just kind of take it and wrap, and it, wrap around. it around. You should, like, cut it. Well, I kind of can't cut it because I wouldn't have enough ribbon, I don't think. But just like that. Yeah, you just... You the whole thing. Yeah, we're going to have to. Sure? Yeah, I hope we have enough to go all the way around. Sure that's going to work. No. You want to keep going? And I'll hold it here for you. Cool. Why do you say you sure that's going to work? Hmm? Why do you say no? Because I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we're trying it. If we don't, we'll have to get one of those. We'll just have to try something else. No. I'm going to glue this here. No. No, don't glue it yet, because we don't know if we need it. Just get it as wide as you can without showing the green. It's ugly. Twisting it and I'll put the layers right, okay? I think we'll have enough. Yeah, we already got half of them. Yeah. So comment down below if you guys like to do craft projects and or what how you're decorating for fall. And comment down below if you want us to do more craft things. We'd love to, right? We'll do them whether you tell us to or not. We just won't film them if you don't like them, right? We'll still do craft projects. One of Hayden and I's favorite things to do. Especially slime. Like, I love slime. That's why all my videos are basically slime videos. I don't want to say all your videos are slime videos, are they? Most of them. Um, our goal this winter is to finish Hayden's one year scrapbook. She's seven. I got a little behind. She keeps me really busy. It's really hard to find time. But now that we have this really cool craft area in our new house, we are going to work on catching up on some craft projects we've wanted to do for a while, right? Just keep wrapping it. So we've got it all the way around. And actually, what if we did like a some type of bow? Oh, yeah. Should we do that? Yeah. All right. So we don't really need that last one, do we? Hey. Oh, yeah, we did. All right, can you hold the wreath? And I will work on figuring out how we can do a bow in here. This is the bow. The wreath. And then... I put a pumpkin on it for now. Now let's glue more things on it.
first we're gonna do a sign that says happy fall. All right guys, so today we're gonna make our banner that's gonna hang over the wreath on the mantle. So we got these leaves in three different colors and we're gonna cut letters out with our Cricut that say happy fall. So we're gonna see how that goes. Why are you mocking me? I'm not mocking you. <laughs> so we'll cut the letters out and we'll be right back. Okay, so we tore the stems off of our leaves and then we cut our letters um, out using our Cricut. So we decided instead of count cutting out happy fall, what did we do? It's fall, y'all. Cause it's fall, y'all. So we're going to use the spray glue to glue the letters on to the leaves. Mm-hmm. And this is so cool. I never thought there was such thing. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna put one word at a time on our placemat and you're gonna spray them. You think you could do that? So we have paper or um, clothes pins to attach the leaves to the string once we put on the mantle. So we'll show you that. Um, and then our last project that we did, we took these dollar store champagne glasses um, that you could get. They're six in a pack for a dollar and we spray painted them this cool red. So what we're gonna do with those is turn them upside down and put pumpkins on them. We got these little haystacks. Yep, straw bales that we are going to set this third one on. So let's take that. So I think we're actually about ready to decorate the mantle. We have all of our main projects done. Yep. Uh, so we... And if you didn't watch this video, go and watch it. Well, it's all in the same video. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know. I forgot I never do these kind of videos. <laughs> so we're gonna go decorate the mantle. We'll see you there. Okay. Okay guys, this is our mantle. So pretty plain right now. We did place the little straw bells on there because they're kind of messy and we didn't wanna be messing around with those. But Hayden is going to throw the pumpkins and the cups. Yes. The little stands that we made out of the cups up there. So we got this idea because we were going to use some candlestick holders upside down. But our challenge was to decorate the mantle with less than $15. So or $15. We didn't want to spend $3 just on the candlestick. So we found these cups and we're able to get six of them for $3. And we also got the pumpkins and the straw bales at the dollar store. Look at how sparkly those pumpkins are, Hayden. Now we have these. And they're leaf garlands that Hayden picked out. So we did get three of those to kind of place around Put that up last and move it out of the way maybe. Huh. They're very light so you got to be very careful when wrapping the stuff around it. I'm just going to readjust these a little bit um, to kind of make 
sure that they're centered in kind of how the finish, our finished product was kind of pictured in our heads here. So I'm just going to loosely kind of, it's kind of a little hard because they were wrapped up in a circle. So to get them to lay right is a little difficult. Alright, so that's one. downfall with these cups is they're really light so they like to move around a lot. Yeah.